Welcome to Dorman Products Ignition Cylinder Installation Video. Before you begin, this installation is considered to be easy by our technicians. This installation will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes to complete. Tech note, this lock cylinder kit contains a programming tool, two transponder security keys, and one non-transponder security key. Follow the steps in this video to program the two transponder keys to your vehicle and avoid a no-start condition. Begin by opening the hood and disconnecting the negative battery cable. Then, remove the bottom column mounting screw. Gently pry the shifter lever dust cover out of the way, but do not remove it from the column. Pull the upper and lower shrouds apart and remove the lower shroud from the column. Tech note, depending on the application, other panels may need to be taken off to properly remove the column shrouds. The lower shroud end flanges may be caught in the steering wheel. To assist with removal, gently pull down and away from behind the steering wheel. The steering wheel may need to be rotated to ease removal. Remove the security receiver ring retaining screw and pull the ring from the lock housing. Continue by rotating the lock cylinder to the run position and locate the release tab underneath the lock cylinder. Using a small screwdriver or similar tool, depress the ignition lock release tab and pull the lock from the column. To install the new lock cylinder, push it into the ports until it clicks. To reassemble the column, follow all steps in reverse order. Be sure to reconnect the negative battery cable. Key Programming Procedure Start by removing all keys from the key ring and separating them from each other. Plug the programmer into the OBD2 port located under the dash by the brake pedal. Hold the non-transponder key and original key in this orientation. Insert the non-transponder key into the new lock cylinder and turn it to the on position without starting the vehicle. The programmer will beep once. Remove the key from the lock cylinder. Tech note. Moving forward, keep the original key away from the ignition and column to avoid programming failure. Next, insert the first new transponder key and turn it to the on position without starting the vehicle. The programmer will beep twice. The programmer LED will flash and begin the 10-minute security access wait. Keep the key in the ignition cylinder during this time. After 10 minutes, the programmer will beep twice signaling that security access has been attained. Without removing the key, cycle the ignition from off to on without starting the vehicle. The programmer will beep twice, and the first transponder key can be removed. Insert the second transponder key and cycle it from off to on. The programmer will beep three times. Both transponder keys are now programmed. The non-transponder key can be discarded.